Project Men's Basketball Championship is going to be now. Josh Ford, Don Monica, and Coach Chuck DeGree. Josh, also, this was your kind of game. It was a defensive battle. Did you know it's going to be low scoring coming in today? Um, honestly, I really didn't have a feel. I just know we had to come in and execute what we talked about. We know that getting stops and containing the dribbles is going to be the most important thing. So that's what we tried to do. Coach gave us the philosophy, and we just followed through with it. How about this team, Tom? I mean, fought through adversity all year. It seemed like it was a different type of year, right? You guys didn't have the same feel as last year, but came together in the end and actually pulled off the you know, second and second title, which is not easy to do in this league. I mean, I'm so happy for the guys. They worked hard all year. We fought through a lot. We had a lot of ups and downs this year. I'm just happy we were able to cap it off with something like this. Chuck, you've got a lot of great players coming through your program. I mean, talk about these two. I mean, they're going to be two of the staples, I think, in the record books all the time here. Without a doubt, man. They've been great, not just on the basketball court, but in the whole Rampo campus, Rampo community. They're just role models and examples of what it should be. And we said before the game that no matter what the outcome was today, they're champions in my eyes. This game won't define them uh, in all for what they've done for us for the last four years. And they've been just tremendous. And I'm so happy for them that they can cap it off with another Land Jack championship. What was the feeling before the game, Josh? I mean, I, I guess you guys did not want to lose your final Land Jack game on this court. Um, honestly, Coach, like you said, I tried to relax as much as possible. You know, I just tried to take a deep breath and enjoy this moment, you know. It doesn't come once like a lifetime that you go back to back in a championship game. So I just tried to come, just breathe, take a deep breath, and just play my heart out and leave it all out here. You know, in terms of NCAAs, the season's not over. It's a different feel this year. Where you've got, I mean, we don't, we'll never know if you needed this game or not, but how good does it feel to not have to worry about that tonight, Tom? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable feeling. I mean, always in the back of the head, we were trying to get to the NCAA tournament. You got to be in it to win it, like Coach always says. And we knew if we wanted to get in, we had to win tonight, and thankfully we did. Chuck, when you're going into the tournament, this team's kind of on a little mini roll. I know he wasn't healthy last year going into the NCAA. So, I mean, you, you like this group's chances going into the NCAA? Season? Yeah, because they're, they're fighters. I mean, I think the biggest thing that made it difficult for us was our Pre, our, our success last year, our preseason ranking nationally in the top five, and then at the end of the day, everybody in the EnJAC picked us to win it. So there was such a bullseye on our back, and everybody was going to bring their best against us. And we saw it opening night against Randolph-Macon down in Virginia. They took it to us from the get-go, uh, and all, and everybody wanted to beat us. And that's what made it so difficult. But give them credit; they fought through all of that. They were able to win the regular season to get this home game. Uh, or the two home games in the, in the playoffs. And I think in both cases, it's the crowd in this home court that got us through. Down 19 against Montclair, and then um, William Patterson rallies from 14 down. I think cut it to one. Uh, I don't think they ever took the lead. I'm not 100% sure. But the crowd got us through. We made a few plays at the end, and we were fortunate enough to get by. And now hopefully we can get it together and, and make a run in the tournament. They got it together today at the right time and pulled off their second consecutive NJAC championship. We were very valiant for the Packers. 2017 and 18 NJAC men's basketball champions, Ramapo College, Josh Ford, Tom Bonnegan, and Coach Chuck McGrady. Congratulations.